Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Turning Point Global Family, daily devotional prayer and prophetic feast. Yes, we feast on God's word. Wake up to this every day. Welcome also to Friday, the 15th day in November 2024. As usual, please open your hand and heart to receive what God has sent and be responding with Amen. I receive it. This will not just be another weekend in your life. It will be a special weekend in the name of Jesus. A long-awaited miracle shall drop for someone. If you are traveling this weekend, check your tires if you are driving and uh, before you hit the road. There is a warning for all of us today. Be careful what you do and how you handle fire this season. Your cooking gas, turn it off when you are done. Don't sleep off when you are cooking electrical appliances, electric, electrical cables and socket, turn off or pull off all connections and sockets when not in use or when you are living home. I see fire burning, real inferno. You shall not be the victim. There are end of the year dangers and calamities. None of us will be a victim in Jesus' name. Now that we have prayed as God has revealed, no more danger for any of us. The devil's plan over us has been revealed, foiled, and destroyed. Send this message to your children and all your loved ones. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 8 says, Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. Ah, with 46 days to go this year, there is no doubt the year is winding down. We are already at the end of the year. I prophesy today, the remaining 46 days shall be better days for you than are all the other part of the year. God Almighty shall crown your effort with success. There will be excitement and testimonies from everyone. A major breakthrough shall yet happen for you. A major celebration shall yet come for your family. Before we start greeting ourselves, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. God will visit you with divine surprises. I don't know who I am saying this to. With one month and a half to go, woman, you shall conceive your baby. Daughter, your God ordained shooter will locate you. Applicant, you will secure your dream job. Your letter of promotion shall issue. You will buy or change your car. You will complete your building project. Your visa shall be issued. Your citizenship certificate will be settled. That debt you are owing will be paid off. You will hit it big in business. Oh yes, you will meet and surpass your target. All pastors and churches and ministers connected to Turning Point, your end of year programs shall be a huge success in the name of Jesus. Your destiny helpers shall come around and locate you. Ah, I'm seeing figures. Figures, seven figures, eight figures, nine and ten figures a lot in your account. You will receive the kind of money you have not received before. All traders, contractors, suppliers of goods and services, your season has come. I announce prophetically, your season has come. You will hit it big. I prophesy high and high pattern turnover. Despite the economic challenges and high cost of things, this shall be your best end of the year season ever. Everybody say, Amen, I receive it. So shall it be. Receive it by faith, it will turn out in reality. Now hear this. If you can, especially businessmen and women, professionals and all, if you can, sow a special seed between today and tomorrow for a favorable end of the year performance and turn around. That's not for everybody. Certainly not for those that will be stressed or those that will complain that giving and sowing is too much. Uh -uh. Not for those ones. Only for those that believe in the power of seed, sowing, and sacrifice to expansion the kingdom of God. Do it cheerfully. No particular amount, but make it a true sacrificial seed. Let's see what the end of the year harvest will be for you. It shall be awesome. You know, the first 27 years of turning point, turning point is 35 years this year. The first 27 years, I never thought or mention tithe, seed, or offering on this platform. I was so careful not to be misunderstood until God said to me, you are depriving and denying my children of their divine channel of 
my financial blessings. You are doing it. I have lifted you and blessed you, but you are not letting them. Not until then. I couldn't teach or encourage it. But since we started teaching, sowing, battle seed, tithing and all that, see what it has turned out for people. See testimonies. God shall honor your sacrifice for his kingdom growth. Titus and see so as God will use you to surprise this generation. So do as God may lay in your heart. November 15th celebrant, your body prayers. Be blessed. Your body is blessed. Every November 15th, you will celebrate it in good health and in prosperity. In Jesus' name. First issue for teachings today. My question is, my son is 27 years old, and he said his future partner is 10 years older than him. I told him the age gap is too much, but he said age does not matter. Sir, what's your advice? Wow, parents, especially mothers, over their children. My take is that, as his mother, tell him what you think, your fears and your concerns. What will happen later, after marriage, if the lady in question will become arrogant, unsubmissive, and have this I am older than you attitude. But if he insists, I think what you owe him at this age is prayers, support, and love. He's an adult. He should be able to take responsibility for his decision. We have long passed the age of forcing a spouse on our son, on our daughter. We can't force them to marry against their choices anymore. Listeners, what do you think? Let me have your thought on this matter. Next, good morning, sir. I'm a businesswoman and doing fine by God's grace. I belong to a church where the pastor said we should not work on Sunday if we want God to bless our business, which I have been obeying since. But now I have a supermarket in the neighborhood, in the residential area. I used to sell in the market. This is the first time I will have a supermarket in the neighborhood. Sir, I am confused. Wow. Well, the Bible says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall I do thy work, on the seventh day thou shalt rest. Two challenges here. Sunday is not the Sabbath the Old Testament refer to. Sabbath is Saturday in the Jewish calendar. That's why you see, see the seven days Adventists go to their worship centers on Saturdays and not Sundays like the rest of us. The Jewish nation still stick to the law of Sabbath and they still do their Sabbath. Number two, now, Sabbath, uh, the law of Sabbath said we should not do any work on Sabbath, not even cook your food, sweep your floor, or lay your bed. No one is doing that anymore. There are works and duties that must go on on Sundays. Security personnel, for instance, police, fire service, hospitals, doctors and nurses, electricity power company, and so on. There are certain laws meant for the Jewish people, which the coming of Jesus Christ has made obsolete for us. This is one of such. Sabbath was given to ensure that they rested or they observed their rest. Today, you can choose to rest any day in the week. My final word is this. Let no work take uh, away church commitment and service to God from you. But if you have to visit your neighborhood supermarket after church in the evening to supervise your worker, who themselves must have off days and shifting duties, I will not condemn you. Uh, then, if that is what you decide to do, there is no condemnation. Uh, but then, the decider is you. You are the one that decides what happened. If you have peace in your heart over it, please run your supermarket. If the Spirit of God, however, says, don't, then obey the Holy Spirit. There is no place in the Bible that says, don't go to work on Sunday. As a matter of fact, Sunday is the first day in the week. But no true child of God will regularly be out of church and service on Sundays. Even doctors and nurses, Christians, they still go to church and then go to their hospitals to see their patients, which to me is not a sin. Uh, again, TPGF members, make your contributions on this matter. You know what? These issues are not fundamental Bible issues. So opinions may differ. Next, good morning, my lovely daddy. Please, how can I locate Uyo Prayer, Mount, Uyo Prayer Mountain Center in Uyo 
Wow. SMS, make a call or send a chat to our overseer pastor in New York, Pastor Dr. Victor Bassi, on 0708-197-2200. All listeners in Akwai Bomb State and New York, please call or chat with him as well. Now, next. Daddy, I am deeply sorry for the loss of your daughter you mentioned today. I want you to know I am so encouraged and I promise God to stand firm with him forever. I lost a seven-year-old daughter in September this year and I'm still trying to cope. But hearing your message today preached a whole lot to me. Daddy, I want to ask, must those that love God experience pain and sorrows? Daddy, you are a big lesson to us. Oh, wow. That is why God is God and we are human beings. To us, it is a loss. It is a pain. But to God, it is not. It is his divine arrangement. You and I do not own our lives. He determines what happens. And the true test of faith is, even though he slay me, yet will I trust him. God is never wrong. We love him no matter what happens. Wow. Listeners, we shall take off from here tomorrow. Our time is gone today. Rebroadcast this to all of your contact. Do so daily. Join us later this evening for the Friday's edition of our live broadcast on our social media platforms. 8 to 9 p.m. Nigeria time this evening. Don't forget, tomorrow is our communal service online. Prepare your communal element this evening to be taken tomorrow morning after receiving turning point ministrations. As usual, I call on all TPGF members and listeners, please be committed and devoted in your tithing and seed sowing to God. Tithe paying, sowing seed, serving God, living a holy life are what we are going to do as long as we live. Please do as God continue to leave you. If you want us to send you the commission's account uh, for your tithing and seed sowing, send a chart of request to plus two three four eight zero nine seven eight nine four thousand. That line only. Don't send money to personal account or to any other number. I speak to your life, mercy, goodness, power, divine lifting. You will never come down. God is your God. He will back you up. What God cannot do does not exist, for God can do all things. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.